everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon. We are entering the ruins of life. We were summoned here by Olivia. We dealt with Plumeria from Team Skull on the way over here, as well as two Team Skull lackeys, Grunt A and B. Oh, hello, Burnet. What are you doing here? Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her way to Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now, I've got to go. The Master Royale has a match, and there's no way that I'm missing that. Oh, yeah. You're not going to miss your hubby. I love that she... <laughs> that Master Royale. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? <laughs> so I, I've got no words. I was going to say something about roleplay, but I just thought it'd be a bit unnecessary. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at that poor crab roller. Let me heal it for you, won't you? Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. Oh, so we're going to meet our second guardian deity. I actually have no idea what any of the other guardians look like, so this is pretty cool. You! I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's just not saying anything. Just think what would have happened if Martin hadn't been there back then. He's like, I would have been fine on my own. Oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? Oh, uh, yes, my name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant, and this is Martin. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Martin, thanks for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. Okay. Do I have to fight her before I can go into the ruin? All right then. You've completed the trial of all the three captains on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna. Me! Get ready for the hardest Pokemon battle yet. Uh, sure. Let's go for it. Let's see how we get on. Great! We're going to give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Okay, here we go. Let's see what interesting kind of Pokemon they've got. Whoa, strike a pose. Oh, nose pass, of course. I should have expected that one. Although, how did nose pass beat us here? Unless she happens to have two of them. All right, um, I don't really know why Crab Roller's out first, but we'll just let him do his thing for a while. There you go, Water Beam should do the trick. Or Bubble Beam, even. Should be all right. Mm, it's all right. It barely did a fifth, though. Oh, no. Paralysis. I just want to wait until I see him do one bit of damage on me, just to see how sturdy Crab Roller is in comparison. So that was a crit, and it only did that much. Because I am wondering if I should just pop a uh, dire hit on Crab Roller or not. Hmm. Let's leave it for now. Oh, no, Paralyzed and couldn't move. Let's just keep going with the Bubble Beams for now. Ouch. Still paralyzed and can't move. It's a bit risky trying to do another attack right now, but we'll go for it. That's fine. We're all good. Bubble beam. Okay, not bad. Tell you what. Let's get ourselves healed up. Use a super potion. That'll be fine. Puts us back to full. I wouldn't be surprised if she uses a full restore or a hyper potion or something. We'll see, though. God, when's this paralysis going to disappear? Hopefully this turn. Hopefully when it comes to my my chance to have a go, it's going to change. No, not good. Still can't move. Luckily, it seems to have just the one move. Or at least the one offensive move. There you go. Cool, that's fine. Let's go for one more. So that'll be one kahuna down. Ah, oh, I knew you were going to do something like that. Tell you what, let's do it. Let's give a dire hit to Crab Roller. There we go. And then we'll heal ourselves up a bit, and then we'll just start rolling out all the crits. I'm going to go for one bubble beam right now, and then if we continue to be paralyzed, then 
Ah, uh, then I'll use a paralyzed heal. I've never known paralyzed to last quite that long. That was a lot of turns, like a lot. And again, we're, we're oh, what's the point? What's the point in doing it if it just instantly just gets paralyzed again? It's like when you burn down a Pokemon and get rid of it, so there's not like a partner one, and then they instantly just call another one in. Oh my god, I'm not bothering anymore. You can sod off. I'm just going to stick with doing Bubble Beam. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We've got like 15 Super Potions, so we'll just get through it. There you go. There you go. Good stuff. Right, here we go. We got Boldor now. So this was the reason that I was holding off on using the Z power just for now. Because I'm hoping to knock out the second Pokemon in one hit. I swear, if I do this dance and Crab Roller is paralyzed and can't move, <laughs> I'd be super annoyed. Oh, no, it did. It got it. All right. All out pummeling. There we go. Nice. Good job. There we are. Oh, dear. Right. Uh, should we try and go for a brick break? Yes, got it in. Go on. Just about managed it. Sweet. Good stuff. Man, Crab Roll is like the best Pokemon in our team. <laughs> it really is. I swear Crab Roll has been more useful to us than... Um, Dartrix has this entire game. Ooh, Lycanroc. So what level is this one going to be? 27. Wow, it's actually quite high level. Um, I am going to have to heal up quite a bit to start off with, though. And we're still paralyzed as well, which is a bit of a downside. I do wonder how strong the Lycanroc is. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that's right, that right. Probably not. But we'll see. Oh, no. Z-move. So what does the Rock Z-move look like? Continental Crush. But at least it's used it once now, so we know it can't use it again. You get one Z-move per time. Oh my god! I got squished. And even then, it didn't do that much damage on me. That's perfect. Alright, break break up in here. Oh, rock throw. Uh, yikes. That's alright, though. Wow, really? One hit? Alright, and it was a crit. There you go. That's how you defeat the Kahuna with one Pokemon. Crab Roller went to 29. Any more? Oh, it wants to learn Payback. Ooh. Actually, you know what? I don't think I want that. No, I don't think I want it. Let's get rid. Forget about it. Keep old moves. There you go. Anybody else leveling up? Magnemite, 26. And Kahuna Olivia is defeated. Diamonds only sparkle after cold is pushed to its absolute limits. <laughs> you guys are the best. Here, the Rock Type Z crystal, the Rockium Z, is all yours. Dwayne Johnson, inside of a stone, is every girl and guy's dream. Certainly my dream. Grand trial complete! The rock type Z power, you have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hip movement is crucial. Okay. Play Shakira. Oh man. Some serious posing. Lily's well impressed. Look at her. Use it well. The rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. No, Nebby, you can't fight. Nebby's like, all right, good, you got this out of the way. Now can we go into the cave? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the ruins of life if you're not a trainer? Oh, um, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I'll find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. 
Regular Pokemon normally avoid the Guardians at all cost. Unless they're strong enough to face Tapu themselves, that is. Do you reckon they'll be strong enough? Wait. No, 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 that, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Ah, she's a good egg, isn't she? Oh, are we all going back? We're not going into the ruins? Oh, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Hal from Iki Town. You've got to let me battle you. Oh, <laughs> hey, Martin. Guess what? This weird green guy from the Aether told me to come to Haino Grand Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation? I'm not sure what he wants with you, Martin, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Haino Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The, the Aether Foundation? Uh, um, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how Hal's battle goes too even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. I may not be as strong as my Gramps, Hala, but I can still raise up Brion, and the rest of my team are doing their best. You're just Hal, right? And what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what Hal can do. Ah, I like that optimism. That's cool. You do know that the Haino Grand Resort, right? It's only, like, the most famous hotel in all of Alola. Um, I do. I just quickly want to go and have a little look inside of the cave. See if there's anything we can do inside of here. Okay. I doubt we can push these just yet, can we? It's a big, heavy-looking boulder. Maybe a powerful Pokemon can move it. Ah, so maybe we come back here once we have that uh, rider page thing. Is it called Page Rider? Yeah, I think it is. When that's been filled in with the right one in order to move boulders. Because there are always those huge grey rocks as well, aren't there? Like the cube-shaped ones. I reckon we could probably um, move those as well once we get that ability. But let's head on over. The Grand Resort. Oh, I can't fly to there. Let's fly to... I guess a Royal Avenue instead. And then we can just go south down Route 6, I want to say it's called. Whilst we're back at the Pokemon Center as well... Uh, oh, wow! Hollywood was actually level 22 in the end. I might actually bring it with me, because we've not had a water type just yet. Um, obviously, we've been waiting on Grey Ninja, haven't we? Um, we can bring back the Vulpix. I'm going to swap it out for the Diglett. And then, obviously, Rowlet, wherever that is. Where's Rowlet gone? Are you in Box 2, maybe? Let's have a little look. Uh, wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. Which Vulpix is that? No, 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 I didn't want that one. I wanted my other Vulpix. There you go, good stuff. Right, and then finally Rowler. Oh, no, and then Charger Bug as well. Yeah, we want a Charger Bug too. Should we swap Charger Bug for Magnemite? There you go. So we've got Dartrix, Vulpix, Whirly, Crab Rawler, Mudbray, and Charger Bug. That's quite a nice mix. We still don't really have a Fire type in there, though. The only ones that I've caught have been Magby. Salandit was one as well. Salandit might be good to do. Although my Salandit's male, I need a female in order to evolve it. Ooh, here we go. Welcome to the Hanno Grand Resort. I live my life in search of pleasure. I wonder if I'd find something new to enjoy if I went through the island challenge once again. Wait, you've already done it the once? Oh man, she's got to be a pretty good Pokemon trainer then. What about you over here? Look at that Pikachu on the stroller. Uh, Master Chuster, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you're a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu for once. That is a one famous Pikachu. Pikachu. Hello there. I wonder if he's the one from the anime. Maybe that's why he's so important. Uh, let's have a little look at you guys. What are you up to? You're all waving at the uh, Pelipper. That's cute. Oh, hello. What are you up to? Alola's so interesting because it has all these different architectural styles. Thanks to so many people coming here from all over. Yeah, it does. We've had like a sort of an Asian inspired area. We've had a Wild West. We've had just like a city, kind of like an Americanized area at the very beginning of the game. All sorts of stuff. So, you've come at last. Ah, but uh, forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you something outstanding, right? Well, that wondrous place is the Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. 
It's an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I'll prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Uh, sure. Let's go have a little looky. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Whoa, wait. Taming too. Oh, uh, even Kahuna Olivia come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies, the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? Oh, yeah. I've got my own business to attend to. You're going to see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Oola Oola Island, yeah? Woo! Now let's meet up at Mally Garden. Y yep, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though, I guess we can come back anytime we want, huh? Then, let us enjoy an adventure up to the Grand Vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. Can we not just fly there with Charizard? Seems like it'd just be a lot less, you know, pollution. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like the Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Martin? Really? What Pokemon? <laughs> Knew I could count on you to react. <laughs> I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. As always, I'm just pretty straight-faced and just like, meh, I could take it or leave it. <laughs>